but how to determine on how famous a specific celebrity is or any person on the social media is right now. In order to understand that, we have to discuss about various properties on how to calculate, you know, on how famous a person is. Even before we get there, well, let us discuss about this. Your networks or your nodes that you have need not be restricted to only the celebrities. For example, you have nodes, right? Each node is a celebrity, basically. Rather than restricting ourselves to only the social media network, we can also resort to a different network. Here, first of all, we need to understand what is a business problem. And accordingly, if we can name the node and edge properly, job is done. So I would say that majority of a person's time has to be spent in understanding the business problem and thereby defining on what should be the node and what should be the edge. Think about your research collaboration kind of a network. Nodes here would be the researchers, people who are researching on various con uh, concepts, or various aspects. All these nodes are various researchers. And the link between the researchers when they work on the same project. So you can link them if they both are working on the same project. You can link them if they're working on the same project. So if researchers are working on multiple projects, for example, say there's a, there's a network, there is another network, say, here. This person is also working on this project. So assume that this is a research project going on, and this is another research project going on. However, this person is central to this and that research. So research A and B, to both of these research, this person is common. So this person is being central to both of these research projects. Hence, we might probably want to conclude that this person here is an expert, right? Whom everyone contacts from both of these research projects, maybe. So you can come to know about these kind of good insights. Your notes can also be actives. If you want to apply that to the acting profession, your notes can also be actives. You have different actives. Now here, how do you want to establish the link or the edge? How do you want to link the actives? Either you can link the co-actives, and if there is a link between two or three different actors, what does that indicate? Or multiple actors, what does that indicate? Say there is one celebrity who is connected to these three people. There is an actor who is connected to these three actors. That probably says that this person works on, you know, different movies. That measures the compatibility of this person, right? And this person might be very versatile. He might be willing to work with the various other actors. Or maybe he's a side actor who might gel well with all the actors. Right? All these are the various measures. And if there is a, there is connection between these two, that means these two people might have worked on the same movies. All these are the possibilities. So on Wikipedia, for example, if you search for a topic, that topic would in turn have a lot of hyperlinks, right? So if you connect to or if you're searching for a specific topic within that particular article, there might be links to various other topics. If you try to establish the network for the various topics within the topic that you are searching for, probably you can establish what are the different connections available between this topic and the other topics. Is one subject related to the other subjects under discussion? Yep, absolutely we can do that. Now, think about this. Say you're trying to establish the relationship between different genres. Right? Say there is one actor here, another actor here, another actor, another actor. This actor work with only probably this person, right? 
uh, this person has worked only with this person and if you if you have multiple such combinations we can also come to know about the communities of genres so maybe this particular person will work only on war movies action movies right probably you can come to know about that what if we see a person who is connected to more than two communities probably he's a person who is a side actor who plays supporting actor role and he can go with multiple movies basically and maybe you can conclude there by saying that the person who is connected to different genres are the people who are more volatile and if you have similar kind of genres right you you can ultimately come up with networks you know based on genres that also indicates the existence of communities right uh, you, you might have a community of network which might be all related to actors who only work on documentary movies and if you feel that there is one actor here who is connected to this genre and this genre so he is acting as a bridge between the communities for us all those are possible you can also look at this you can probably create different nodes of actors and when it comes to the edges you can actually weigh these edges based on the box office revenue the moment you do that you get to know about who are those actors who fall in network right where the box office revenue is very high whatever be the network right you can come to know about who are those actors who have a strong connection from box office revenue perspective maybe your Shahrukh Khan, Salman Khan, from the Indian movie perspective, maybe. Those are all interesting insights to be drawn, given the data. Okay, works with uh, same director. So, it, you when you try to plot in this way, right, you get to know about those actors who work only with specific set of directors. You can also come up with the notes of actors and directors. And you can look into who are the various actors who are connected to specific directors right this is also another possibility you can look into who are those actors who are seen in specific party if two actors are going to the same party that establishes a connection between them right and thereby we can also come to a conclusion about the social groups within movie industry maybe all your youngsters who are you know who are into their maybe early stages of their career maybe they all form a party group because they have similar thought process everyone might be of a different age group younger age group maybe all those people who are well established might have their own social network maybe right and um, you can also look into maybe there is a new person who is connected to the elite club you might have that elite club you know all your blockbuster heroes whatever movie they act in that will become a super hit that is your elite club probably if a newcomer is connected to this elite club maybe that is the reason you can probably conclude that this is the reason why this particular newcomer is successful in his career Right? All these things can be established. I'm just exposing you all the possibilities of not restricting your network analytics only to your social media, but think beyond it. It is very useful when it comes to the application. Of